Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some simple 2D text tracking. So I've got this clip open, and this is a perfect example. 2D text tracking is where you're not moving the camera through 3D space, so you're not walking down an alleyway or something. The camera is pretty stationary, however, objects in front of the frame are moving, and you can use those to create track points. So the first step we need to do is to create some tracking points. So go to window and make sure the tracker window is open and then open up that tracker panel and click on your layer and select track motion. After Effects will then place a track point on your composition for you to click and move around onto an object in your frame that's easily trackable. So a good example for this would be this white dot that's on the camera. It's got a really nice contrast against it. It stays within the frame this whole time pretty smoothly and it won't be any trouble for After Effects to stick onto this point. So you can address the two hit boxes, the outer frame and the inner track point, to give After Effects some more room to work. However, do keep in mind, the larger that you make these boxes, the longer it's going to take to track because you're analyzing more space. So this looks pretty good and reliable. So I'm going to go back to the tracker window. And you also want to set what you're tracking. So position is checked by default and it's what I'm going to use. But do keep in mind that you have rotational and scale options as well. But I'm just going to keep it at position and I'll press play on the analyze forward section. So now After Effects is going to go through each frame and it's going to track that point. So you can see it's doing a really good job sticking on this because this is a perfect example. But if for some reason you wanted to stop, you didn't need or want to track the whole thing, you just press pause or if things messed up and you could only track a certain section, you'd have to do it that way as well. Sometimes, you know, someone's hand might move in front of the frame or it might not be so easy as this. But now that it's done tracking, you see this line of positional keyframes and data that we've created. That would be really hard to replicate if we were trying to do this by hand. So we need some way to be able to use those points. We can't just link back to this tracking point unless we attach it on something. So let's go to layer, new, and create a new null object. This is kind of like a blank layer for us to attach that data onto. So let's click Edit Target on the tracker and choose the null object and press OK. And then let's press Apply to apply the X and Y positional data. So now we have our keyframes onto the null object and now we can link the null object to text or shape layers. So let's go to Layer, New Text for this example and let's just type out what we want. So in this case, I'll type out 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which is what we're kind of pointing to. And then head over to your new text layer, grab the pick whip, and set the parent to be the new null object. So now you see the null object is the parent of the text layer. So when I press play, it's following all of that positional data that we gave it. So you can move this wherever you want, and it'll still follow those tracking points. If we were to open up that null object, you can see what's going on here is all of these positional keyframes have been created each frame and that's what we're following. So a cool thing that you can do from here is add some fun effects. So if you go over to the effects panel, there's a lot of great animation presets that are built into After Effects. So let's search for one called typewriter and this will animate the text in like a typewriter. So if I click and apply this onto the text, you see that at this point that my cursor is at, the text will type right in. So when I press play, you can see how that works. Additionally, if we wanted to create lines or point to certain things, we could go to Layer, New Shape Layer, and I could just create a simple line with the Rectangle tool. So I'll just pull out a line here. I'll adjust the rotation a bit so it rotates to where I want. And then I'll move it into position so it's pointing at what I want. And I can use the same exact null object to make this point to what I want as well. So I can grab the parent, put it on null, and now when I press play, you can see that line is popping up. I'll make it start right here, and you'll see that the line will pop up and point at the lens. So I'll create another new shape layer, and on this layer that's blank, I'll open up those preset shapes, and a cool one that you can use is Marquee Chasers. So I can click and drag that onto the shape layer. So you can have that highlight a certain portion of the object. Also make sure you point it towards the nulls. And you can see we could build out everything based on our motion tracker. 
So that's how you do some simple 2D motion tracking in Adobe After Effects. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it below. Let me know what you in the comments. And check out my 3D camera tracking tutorial in the After Effects playlist. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new future videos. And follow me on social media at Justin Odisho so you can stay tuned behind the scenes and more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.